Hey everybody, just thought I'd give you a little update what's going on in my country. Well, uh, more in my state actually. Um, they're starting to jab five year old kids now with this crap. Uh, kids don't get COVID. You know, it's, they, they want to start jabbing five to 11 year olds, or they have. And you're already getting teenagers with myocarditis and pericarditis, so. What's going to happen now with these little kids? Apparently it's going to be a lower dose, but that's, that's so comforting, you know, like say, so, oh, so they're only getting like a, um, a third of the dose of this crap injected into them instead of the full adult dose, you know, that's so comforting. That's going to make things so much better, isn't it? I don't know. It's madness. And parents are e even boasting about getting their kids jabbed. Someone I went to school with um, had their son jabbed. And uh, was so proud that he just got a job at a supermarket. The two people in that supermarket um, were, um, were stood down or fired because they didn't get it. So he got somebody else's job uh, because, I don't know, it's just so unfair um, that other people were getting our jobs that were ours, that we worked for, that we got. Uh, because we won't comply with government tyranny, because we stand up for human rights. Other people will get our jobs who don't. So I'm just angry and tired. Um, it gets worse. So um, Food shortages, they say they're going to get worse and worse and worse here. Uh, apparently meat and milk are okay, because they can be locally sourced. Uh, but all that has to happen is a couple of big power failures in yellow, and that's going to take care of that. The shops only, they do, a lot of them have generators, but they don't, they won't have that much of them. They won't be able to keep them going, like, for days, you know, if we didn't have, without power. And Mark McGowan, he's also going to ban the unjabbed from uh, cafes and gyms and virtually everywhere. And he says, if you're not jabbed, you're going to have to wear a mask in the supermarket. That's not going to happen, McGowan. I'm not wearing one and there's nothing you can do about it. I'll just walk in. I refuse to show any ID. I'll just walk in, buy what I want, and walk out. And no one's going to stop me, let alone you. Well, I just wonder what he's got next. You know, apparently they've built quarantine camps everywhere, so if I disappear for a few weeks, that means I've been put into one of these naughty camps for refusing to obey our Fuhrer, Mark McGowan. Things are that bad. They've already, they already put unjabbed people under house arrest in the Northern Territory. Perfectly healthy people, locked in their own home, forbidden even to go to work and earn a living. These are, these are crimes against humanity. These, these politicians are guilty of like um, false imprisonment, murder, terrorism, war crimes, you name it, they've done it. Come, come Lord Jesus is all I can say. God bless. See ya.